Hey, Flipshot. Oh, He-Man. Any news from the battlefront? Is the ship ready to go? Almost. I just changed the battery on the defense systems. Well, finish up. We've got to go. What's the matter? Skeletor has destroyed the power sword, and we must return to Eternia to see if the sorceress can repair it. I hope Primus's defenses can hold out while we're gone. Don't forget your space helmet, for safety's sake. Systems on. Welcome to another Action Figure Adventures animated review. This time we're taking a look at the Starship Eternia. This is the giant vehicle slash playset from Mattel's He-Man line that many collectors refer to as the new adventures of He-Man. When popularity with the original Masters of the Universe line faded, Mattel put He-Man away for a few years. Then they brought him back out and tried to re revive him with a new line simply called He-Man. This version of He-Man, instead of being a barbarian, set in a sword and sorcery environment with a little bit of technology, they went to a world with advanced technology with minimal sword and sorcery influences. The cartoon series created for the new He-Man line was called The New Adventures of He-Man, and so many fans refer to it as The New Adventures line. According to the box, the Starship Eternia holds all the power of the universe. A mobile multi-use starship battle base and ground control command station. Okay, so the Starship has a gun turret on top here and little guns on the side. It has an opening cockpit area. On the back here it has a little electronic light and sound system. You can flip the switch here. These pods on the side can be raised and lowered. And basically the entire ship can be taken apart. One of the other features that's hard to show when it's all put together is that it actually has these little trap doors that can open up. It's also cool how you can use this as a mini sub fighter type of vehicle while the battle station is all put together. Along with the stickers that aren't applied to the ship, I know of at least pieces that make elevators inside these blue tubes that are missing. Because I'm not an expert on the new Adventures toy line, I don't know every in and out of this ship. Uh, I've seen it in the cartoon, but I wasn't actively collecting Masters of the Universe during the time that the new Adventures figures were out. So, you know, I kind of saw them in stores a little bit and didn't pay a lot of attention to them. And in fact, the two figures, the two new adventure figures in this review are the only ones I own, and I bought them so I had figures to animate on this ship. I'm a sucker for play sets, and I felt like this would be a really cool item to review. It doesn't seem like a lot of people have it, and it's pretty darn neat. To help give a size comparison for anybody that's familiar with G.I. Joe's, this is the shell to a Defiant Space Shuttle. As you can see, they're similar in length, but the elevator tower pod things on the side make the spaceship Eternia much larger. There are a lot of pegs around the ship that the characters can be stood on. There are also a lot of these ports that the gun can be plugged into. And the cap from the for the hatch here can be plugged into different areas of the ship it went in its different forms. This has been an Action Figure Adventures animated review. <laughs>